All right, welcome. Um, so this is going to be a video on um, a fast, intuitive method for free fall problems. So if you, um, it's assuming that you've already watched this one. So this one was um, the last video is a fast, intuitive method for uh, solving some kinematics problems. I'll try and put a link to that if they'll let me in the um, in this video. Okay, so that that's what this is about. Now, um, they're going to start with some assumptions here. Uh, one of the assumptions, it's a very typical assumption in physics um, when you're first starting out, is that air resistance is negligible, meaning that we're going to ignore any effects of air resistance. And then um, we're going to make the acceleration due to gravity not 9.8 meters per second squared, or that's, approximate, that's an approximation too, but um, negative 10 meters per second squared. And we're going to assume that that's constant. Um, that it doesn't change depending on where you're at in the on the earth um, again this is just to make our um, calculations real quick it's a this is just a nice way to give um, an estimation of what happened um, so you can you can use this method to check even if you have to use if your teacher wants you to use 9.8 meters per second squared you can always use this as a fast check to see if your answer is reasonable um, also with doing multiple choice, it's a nice fast way to get to the answer. So again, um, I know that G is closer to 9.8 meters per second squared, but um, we're going to say it's, uh, it's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We're going to say that it's negative 10 meters per second squared for this. We're going to make all the numbers work out real nicely. And then you can round numbers to their nearest nice value just to check, just to get a check for your answer. So a um, couple things about an acceleration of 10 meter, negative 10 meters per second squared. The negative means that if it's heading downward, if an object's heading downward, meaning that its velocity is negative also, if the V is negative and the acceleration is negative, then the, ga the object's gaining speed at 10 meters per second each second. Every second it gains 10 more meters per second. But if the object is um, heading upward, then it's going to be losing 10 meters per second every second because it's got a positive velocity and a negative acceleration. So it's going to actually be losing a, um, velocity, losing speed, 10 meters per second of speed every second. Okay, so we're going to just use this idea of um, average velocity then to um, figure out these problems real quickly. So let's say that you have an uh, a problem where you, they want to know how far will a ball fall uh, that's dropped, a ball that's dropped, how far will it fall in the first three seconds, drop from rest. So to say it's dropped means that it's from rest. Okay, in the first three seconds. Okay, so um, what we can do then is we can say that the ball starts out, here's the ball, it starts out at zero meters per second because it's dropped, and then in three seconds it's going to gain um, speed. Every second it's going to gain three, uh, 10 meters per second of, of speed, so it's going to be going 30 meters per second. Now its velocity will be negative, but we'll just put it, we'll just call it 30 meters per second of speed. So your average velocity is if you get a, a zero and a negative 30 on a test, your average velocity is going to be negative 15 meters per second. So if on average you go 15 meters per second downward for, for three seconds, you're going to go 45 meters. In other words, your delta x is going to be a negative 45 meters because it's v average to, times time. So that would be negative 15 meters per second times um, a time of three seconds. So that's negative 45 meters. It's going to fall 45 meters from its original position. Okay, see how nice and fast that is? Okay, let's do another one. You might try doing this, um, pausing the video to see if you can get the answer before I get it. But how far will a dropped ball fall in just one second? All right, so um, it starts out, here's the ball. It starts out, if it's dropped, it's zero meters per second. After one second, it'll be going 10 meters per second, negative 10 meters per second, because it's downward. So your average velocity is negative five meters per second. And so if you go negative five meters per second for a second, you're gonna go, your delta x is just multiplying the, the average velocity times the time. 
that's going to be negative five meters. You're going to fall. You're going to fall five meters. That's how far you're going to go. See how easy these are. These are really fast and easy. Um, so um, another one. You got uh, a ball that's dropped from rest. How far will the ball travel from the third second to the fourth second of travel? Okay, so you dropped it from rest, and they want to know, like, uh, from three seconds to four seconds, how far is the ball going to travel? Okay, well, after three seconds, it's going to be going negative 30 meters per second. And after four seconds, it's going to have sped up another 10 meters per second. So that's going to be um, negative 40 meters per second. So your average velocity, if you get a 30 and a 40 on a test, you just add these two up and divide by two. So that's going to be negative 35 meters per second. So if you go um, negative 35 meters per second for a single second, then um, your delta x, how far you'll go, is negative 35 meters. You're going to fall negative 35 meters. Okay, let's do another one. You can do a lot of these really fast. You know, you might say, you might say, well, you're using really round numbers and you're using um, 10 meters per second squared, negative 10 meters per second squared for G. But um, you can take a, a question and it, like if this were 32 meters per second, just round it to 30 meters per second, just so you can get a, a rough estimate of where you should be. This is a nice fast way to get an estimate. Okay, a ball's thrown straight down with an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. Oh, so it's not dropped, it's thrown straight down. How far will it travel in the first two seconds? Okay, so well, it's thrown down, so it's going 30 meters per second at first. You might pause this video, negative 30 meters per second. You might pause this video and see if you can get it. Okay, after two seconds, it will have gained, um, it will be going 50 meters per second. So that means its average velocity for those two seconds is, um, if you get a 30 and a 50 on a test, when you add them up and divide by two, you get a negative 40 meters per second. So if you go negative 40 meters per second for two seconds, then um, just you're using this equation, delta x is v average times t, and so or delta t, and so that's going to be um, that is going to be a delta there. Let me sneak a delta there. So that's going to be 40 times 2 is 80. Negative 80 meters. You're going to fall negative 80 meters in that time period. See how that works? Pretty straightforward. Okay, another one. I'm doing a lot of these so that you can you can try them on your own. Okay, a ball is thrown down with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. How far will it travel in the first three seconds? Okay, so then um, here's the ball. It's thrown down at 10 meters per second. So negative 10 meters per second is the initial velocity. In three seconds, it's going to be going, it's going to gain um, 10 meters per second with every passing second. So it's going to be going negative 40 meters per second. Okay, your average velocity is um, going to be, if you add a 50, so 40 plus 10 is 50 negative 50 divided by 2 so it's negative 25 just did the average of those two and then that's for three seconds for the first three seconds so how far are you going to fall you're going to fall seven negative 75 meters that will be your displacement all right another one ball is thrown upward with a velocity of 20 meters per second oh upward how high will it be in one second Okay, so if you throw a ball upward at 20 meters per second, after one second it's going to lose velocity and it will only be going 10 meters per second. So your average velocity will be 15 meters per second. So if you go 15 meters every second for one second, then you'll go 15 meters upward. So your delta x, how high up you're going to be, is 15 meters. We're going to do 10 of these, okay? So we're on 7. 
Okay, how high will high high up how high up will an air rocket travel if its initial velocity is 30 meters per second straight up? Okay, that's what we we really mean. It's initially fired straight up at 30 meters per second, and um, let's assume that it's in free fall, so it's not. So our air rocket is not gonna uh, be accelerating upward at all once it once it's off the launch pad so it's 30 meters per second how high up will it travel if it's initial so to get to the top to the get to the top where it's zero it's going to take three seconds because it's going to lose 10 meters per second each second so the time delta t that it is going to take to get up there is three seconds okay so then um, if your average velocity then for the way up is 30 plus 0 divided by 2, that'd be 15 meters per second. And it took you 3 seconds to get up there, then if you went this speed on average for 3 seconds, just multiply that by that and you get 45 meters. So it's going to be 45 meters in the air. Isn't that quick? That's so quick to, um, to calculate these. Okay, number 8. How high up will a ball travel if it's thrown straight upward at 10 meters per second? You want to try this one? See if you can try that. All right, so um, it was fired at 10 meters per second, straight up. And um, at the very top, it will be going 0 meters per second. So its average velocity is going to be um, 5 meters per second on the way up. And that time, the time it's going to take, the delta T it's going to take, is one second. Because it's losing 10 meters per second every second. So it, the delta X is just your average velocity times your time. So that's going to be 5 meters up in the air. Okay, just two more. Okay, a ball is thrown straight upward at 20 meters per second. How high above its starting point will it be in 3 seconds? Oh! Okay, so this one of uh, a ball is being thrown at 20 meters per second straight up. But here's the thing, it's only going to take 2 seconds to get up to the top, because it's losing 10 meters per second every second. So after 3 seconds, it's actually going to be heading down, and it's going to have gained 10 meters per second, so it's actually going to be going at 10, negative 10 meters per second down. So it's a little trickier one because um, it's only going to take two seconds to get up so that third second it's heading down so it will have gained negative 10 meters per second. Your average velocity, let's see, add these up. You got 20 plus negative 10. That's going to give me 10 divided by 2 is 5 meters per second because I have to divide it by 2. It's V average is the fine, is the, um, the, these two added together and divided by 2. So 10, 20 plus negative 10 is 10 divided by 2. Good. And so times 3 seconds. So the average, the, how high up above the ground are you going to be? Um, 15 meters above the ground. Because I'm multiplying the average velocity times 3 seconds. That was a little tricky. Okay, finally, last one. A person throws a ball straight up, and 4 seconds later it returns to him. How fast did he throw the ball up in the air? Oh, so you can you can quickly figure out how um, how fast you throw a ball just by throwing it up in the air, straight up in the air, and timing how long it takes to come back. Okay, so um, if it takes four seconds to go back, that means it took two seconds to go up and two seconds to come down. So um, that means that you must have thrown it, this is zero meters per second, and this is two seconds to get up to the top, and so that means that this had to have been 20 meters per second. You threw that ball at 20 meters per second. How high up did it go? Well, the average velocity on the way up is going to be um, 10 meters per second. And the time that just going up is 2 seconds, so it's going to go 20 meters in the air. All right, so that's how you do that. Um, it's just a nice way to quickly check problems. Even if the numbers don't work out, you can quickly check the problems by rounding the numbers and rounding 9.8 to 10. And then um, you can quickly see if that's what you, you should have gotten. All right, thanks. Bye.